Okay. Indirect is, okay, there is capital, or if you buy, buy vessels, you can buy vessels from India or China. Uh, there are certain, certain products, IS, outsourcing, yes. But mm. if you speak about marketing spend, if you speak about consultancy, if you speak about um, utilities, if you speak about... Uh, telecommunication, this kind of... Telecommunication, things. this all is regional. Mm. Yeah? And we have, we have made this step and said, all this is regional. Okay. We have regional um, procurement heads, which are managing this, of course, in a global network. Mm -hmm. But this is, is regional, and you have also to optimize this regional. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, like we, we heard about Schindler, uh, this is a totally different market. I, I cannot comment on it. Mm -hmm. yeah? But if you, if you look here right now, um, over the next the period, over the next uh, years, I mean, as such an experienced procurement uh, expert and leader, I mean, you were asked, as you said, to stay in your company and to help them, you know, to run uh, and, um, you know, even to survive in this very spe specific times. So what do you think? What are the major challenges in, in procurement in the next uh, one or two years? Are they different? Yes, they are different from five years ago. Uh, the biggest challenge is the solvency of my suppliers mm -hmm. because especially in, uh, in the developing countries but also in, in the West, uh, we have outsourced, we have closed a lot of uh, in-house manufacturing uh, between 2003 and 2007. Uh, so we put roughly 1 billion spent new, which was first in-house into the market and we moved a lot into Asia and suppliers which were supplying us for one or two million dollars are now supplying 20, 30 million. So they, their biggest problem is to have the cash to buy the raw materials. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, if you have to finance one million, it's a different thing than if you have to finance 10 million. Definitely. And if you are a mid-sized company and a mid-sized company in China is between 100 and 300 million turnover. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have only two or three uh, global players like uh, Sinochem and Sinopec. The rest is between 50 and 500 million turnover. Mm -hmm. So their, their biggest problem is um, supply chain financing, but also in India. But I see the same trend in Europe where uh, CFOs are coming and saying we should move from a supply into a tolling operation. Okay. <laughs> well, we should finance the upstream raw materials mm -hmm. because everybody is looking for his cash flow. Yeah. So this is, this, is, this is a big challenge which has not been there five years ago. Okay. This is the major one you see, you see in the future? Uh, Or is there another one? Yeah, the other one is how do our suppliers come out of the, of the recession? At the moment, they have all liked us because we were one of those companies like Pharma, uh, Acro, uh, we heard this morning nutrition or, or, or drinks, which were not affected. So we had in the last year a very easy time because a lot of people suddenly uh, wanted to sell to us uh, and uh, made us new offers which were very competitive. Uh, so we have to look if the car industry, if the construction industry is coming back into operation, how is the, 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 the demand supply balance? We had a very, very critical uh, first half year of 2008 where the demand supply balance was out of order. The supply got short and the demand moved up and it could be that we globally and, and you know all this this that the price increases of of copper and iron and blah 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 yeah mm -hmm. so this would be the next challenge which could be in 2011 when we run in a in a, a situation where demand supply balance can be out of order at the moment it's a nice time everything is long but what will happen if things are getting short. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. So supply chain financing and availability of products. Hans, thank you very much for, for this kind of uh, recommendations and insights of your, of your company and your procurement um, organization. We got um, you know, some trends, some major challenges. Uh, you see, um, we uh, talked about talents and, uh, and your program, how to really get a very motivated uh, young people for your organization. And we talked about the challenges in low-cost country sourcing, especially in your, in, in your direct spend uh, area and, uh, and your special uh, relationship to your, to your Chinese partner. So uh, thank you very much for, for this uh, very interesting uh, discussion. Thank you.